Hey, so this is the second part of the uh, the swag bag unpacking. And uh, remember when I was raving about this little thing here, this tiny microcontroller um, that is actually Python powered. So now we're actually going to play with this thing and um, and uh, plug it in. And I want to show you how it works. You know, I, I don't really know much about it. I'm not affiliated in any way with the company that makes it, but I just thought it was a really, really cool uh, demo when I saw it at PyCon. So, you know, I want to give that thing a shot. All right, so what we need here is uh, micro USB. So this thing actually is about the size of a $2 coin, right? So it is really, really small, um, fits in, in, your, in, in, in your hand. And uh, it has a micro, oops, micro USB connector. Um, there is uh, a couple of buttons. So there's like one, um, one button here. There's an on-off switch, I believe, and a bunch of inputs and outputs, like sort of like, um, you know, around here, like these this, uh, these pins here. And I don't really know what that guy is for, um, but this is the the micro USB. So we're gonna take. Um, a micro USB to regular USB, so like a phone charging cable. So I got that here. The only problem is my computer does not have um, that sort of classic USB 3 connection. So I need one more piece here to uh, get this on USB C. And so we kind of have this wonderful uh, dongle situation here. And I'm just going to plug it in. So I'm actually recording my screen here. So let's flip this over to um, to my screen recording. Um, and we're going to do this now. Okay, so I'm plugging this thing in now. And what happens is you can see here it um, it's starting to do something. So you get these like, get this LED um, lighting up. And actually... I. I need my uh, recording monitor here. Otherwise, I don't really know what I'm showing you. So you can see this here. You know, it's it gets a little the little uh, RGB LED, the colored uh, LED, and it's just kind of doing its thing. It's just sitting there. So, all right. So the other thing that happened is that this thing was mounted as a USB drive. So, you know, you can see that down here. I've got this circuit circuit Pi um, drive here now. And um, when you open it, there's a bunch of files in here. So there's a, a welcome and the readme. It kind of goes over how this thing actually works and you know what what the preloaded demo does. And apparently, this thing is called Circuit Python. Um, maybe Circuit Python is the software. I don't. I don't actually know. Anyway, like the the thing I wanted to show you here. Apparently, also it just dumps its boot output here into this text file. So it's, it's kind of a cool way to interact with this thing. Because um, you know, usually it's a huge pain in the butt to set up the networking and all of that to communicate with um, with that sort of microcontroller, especially if you're doing this in any sort of sort of like workshop um, kind of situation, right? But with this thing, you plug it in; it just mounts as a freaking USB drive, and then you've got this main.py file here, and also a lib folder where I guess there's some you know you can you can put in some Python libraries there as well, and um, and you know, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna go over and, and drag that into my uh, my editor, and uh, it pops right up. And um, oh, apparently it's not <laughs> it's not PEP eight compliant. So here, check this out. It should all be indented differently, right? But um, oh well, we can uh, we can uh, we can deal with that. There's a bunch you know bunch more formatting issues here and some unused imports. Come on, what is this? Um, all right, so here you know it's, it's this is like the code. This is the code that this thing runs right now. So this is this is powered by MicroPython, which is a um, um, an implementation, re-implementation of Python three for very very low uh, power or like low computational power uh, devices, like like this little thing. I mean, look, check out this. Oops, <laughs> check out this this tiny little chip. Right, this is super tiny and it runs Python 3. That's kind of cool. So what's awesome though, or what, what is just amazing about this thing is, um, and I gotta, gotta move my recording monitor here to the side a bit. Um, so what's amazing about this, you know, we can just go in and I can change the code here, like right now. So, okay, see this like little, not so bright LED here? Boom, let's set this to one, hit Command S to save. 
and holy shit, this is bright. You know, all, all of a sudden it is, um, is very bright. I'm actually impressed like how, how crazy bright this little thing is. Um, it, it's almost blinding when you look at it directly. I guess it doesn't maybe come across that way in the video, but um, you know, we can turn it way down again. And you just hit save and it instantly reloads this file and um, changes how, how this thing is configured. So, um, so yeah, you know, you, you can look at all the code, like how it's like cycling through these colors and um, it's all powered by Python, man. How cool is that? So um, apparently it has some like, it has some inputs as well. Uh, I don't know where it puts those. So when I, uh, when I plugged it in earlier, I was trying to set it up as a USB keyboard like an HID, uh, human interfaces device. So maybe that's how, you know, maybe it just types this stuff out. I, I don't actually know, it's like, it's a really, really weird way to integrate this with your um, desktop computer, I guess, or interface it. But um, uh, it, it sure is convenient for these like little experiments. So, okay, so what we can do here is uh, I saw that it's setting the value of the second LED so there's like a, a second device here and it's setting it to um, a value it reads from one of the inputs. And so when I just, uh, getting confused here with my left and right direction. So, you know, when I touch this input, it, um, it turns on the light. Now we could of course play with this stuff some more and, you know, we're in a loop here. So there's like an endless, you know, infinite loop and, um, for, for fun, we could uh, change the LED value um, just to kind of uh, flip back and forth. So, so how it works is um, if you set the LED uh, to false, it's off, right? So the second LED is off. Now, if you set it to a truthy value like true, then it is always on. So that means if we can generate some kind of combination of uh, true and false values over time, then we can flash this thing, right? So here we, we're in this like true loop and I'm taking the modulo um, off this uh, this loop counter and I'm just comparing it to, you know, if it's less than or equal to 25. And so that way we get this like flashing pattern. And, you know, we could, um, we could play with this and kind of change some of the constants here and it would like flash at a different frequency. So, I mean, this is not gonna change the world in any like real sense of like, okay, we're gonna build some amazing hardware with this thing. I mean, actually we might, but what I love the most about this is that I think it's a really cool educational tool to get people into Python. I mean, I can't believe that this thing runs Python. It's so tiny. You just plug it into your freaking USB port and um, it boots right up and it exposes, exposes, all, of, exposes all of its internals just as a .py file and I can just go in there, you know, with my editor, make a bunch of changes and um, and hit save and, um, you know, I'm instantly running code on a microcontroller. Like that workflow is just mind blowing. It's so well done. And, you know, the guys from Adafruit, I think, holy shit, it's so bright. Um, the, the guys from like the, the, all the wonderful folks at, at uh, Adafruit, they did a fantastic job with this thing. So, um, so yeah, I mean, check this out. I don't know how much it costs. They gave it to us for free at uh, at PyCon, but um, it can't be that expensive because I mean, you know, it's probably the hardware is like really, really cheap on this thing. And um, and yeah, you know, who, who knows what could be built with this? I'm sure um, this can can keep someone geeky like me, you know, busy for hours like playing with this stuff. And so yeah, I just wanted to show this uh, to you guys because. I really felt that this was like the, the thing in the swag bag here that I definitely got the most excited about when I saw it. Um, and I've just been waiting to, to play with it. So, um, so yeah, if you've done anything cool with this, with this little thing, let me know in the comments. I just love to see what people do with this and happy to share it out on, on Twitter and, and elsewhere as well. Alrighty. Well, there you have it. Tiny Python, MicroPython, Python 3.